Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss how to run correlation in SPSS. Basically, we run correlation between two metric variables also known as a continuous variable. The correlation coefficient gives a mathematical value for measuring the strength of the linear relationship between two variables. It can take any value from minus 1 to 1. Plus 1 representing absolute positive linear relationship. 0 representing no linear relationship. Minus representing the above inverse relationship. If I talk about the first one, if the relationship is linear, positively linear, it means that if x increases, y also increases. In case of second one, there is no pattern which is being detected between the two variables. If I talk about the third one, if one increases, another decreases. Now let's see how we can do this in SPSS. We are going to use the file employee data for this purpose, which is available in the samples folder of SPSS. Before running correlation, it is always advisable to run the scatter plot between the two variables to understand the pattern. Here, we are having two variables. One, the current salary and the beginning salary of an employee. I want to see, is there any relationship which is being there or not? Go in graphs, legacy dialogues, scatter plot. Define. Now, transfer current salary in the y-axis and the beginning salary in x-axis. Click OK and you will get the result. You can see here. It is clearly indicating that the beginning salary and current salary are related with each other. If I double click on this and add a fit line at the total, so it will also fit the line here. The regression line can be fitted here. You can see with R square also is generated here. Now I want to detect is there any relationship, the statistical significant relationship exists between the two variables or not. So for this purpose, I'll go in analyze, correlate, bivariate. I'll transfer salary and beginning salary here. Make sure that the Pearson correlation is on. Click OK and you got the results. I have copied these results in the Word file to explain you the interpretation. The first thing which you have to see is the SIG value, this value. Now, current salary and its relationship with the beginning salary is 0 0.880. These two statistics are mirror image of each other. You can see either of them. So you have to see SIG value. So as the P value of Pearson correlation is 0 0.00, you have to interpret like this, which is less than 5% level of significance. We reject null hypothesis, which means that there is a significant relationship between the beginning salary and current salary. Moreover, the Pearson correlation value, this value is 0 0.880, which suggests a strong positive relationship between the beginning salary and the current salary. So if you remember my first slide, if the value is nearer to 1, it, it represents the absolute positive linear relationship. Means if x increases, y increases. It means that if the beginning salary increases, your current salary also increases. For more videos on SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. See my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos of SPSS. Please don't forget to press the like button.